Venify CodeSign Protect, part of the Venify control plane for machine identities, secures enterprise code signing for Java apps. CodeSign Protect provides centralized and secure key storage with role-based access control and policy enforcement. In this video, we'll be looking at signing Java archives or JAR files using JAR Signer. Code signing can also be applied to firmware and drivers where we continue to see software supply chain attacks. InfoSec wants to stop malicious JAR files from being run within the enterprise. And you want to use JAR files that have been signed and trusted. However, signing code can be slow and lack strong controls over critical private keys. But with CodeSign Protect, signing code is fast and secure. Here we're logged into the CodeSign Protect dashboard and have access to a Java application signing project. We use co-signing projects to govern the use of co-signing keys. We have an assigned certificate and key and a key user who will sign the Java app. This certificate was issued from an internal Microsoft CA. For externally consumed Java apps, the certificate would be issued from a public CA. Now we'll sign this app manually, but code signing can be easily incorporated into your automated CI CD pipeline. We have a sample jar file named hello.jar that's ready to be signed. Let's use jar signer to check that it doesn't have a signature. But why do we need to sign a jar file? Because for an example, a bad actor could sneak in modified classes to be called by your code. So code signing builds trust that your jar files haven't been changed or tampered with and ensures the integrity of your software supply chain. We verified this code and trust it, so let's go ahead and sign it. We call the jar signer command with the parameters shown. The application name, the identity, which is a key or a label, and the parameters of how jar signer integrates with the code sign protect client via PKCS 11. We presented a config file. Of course, best practice is to countersign with a timestamp which allows the validity of the signature to be checked against the time that it was signed instead of the current time when the software is being executed in case your certificate expires. Now we see the basic confirmation details. We see the signer certificate expiration date and we see the timestamp expiration date. If we run the verify command again, now you see that the signature was verified and that the entry is listed in the manifest. It shows you the signature of the co-signing certificate and the timestamp signer. Just like that, you have a valid signed jar file. At this point, it's ready for a secure deployment by the applications team. Using Venify Cosign Protect, your organization can sign and deploy jar files securely to comply with InfoSec policy and by providing developers with the agility and freedom of choice by fitting into existing workflows, Cosign Protect reduces the burden on them by integrating with the tools and processes they are to use. We invite you to sign up for a code signing maturity assessment where a Vetify expert will evaluate your current standards and policies and provide you with detailed recommendations and best practices. Thank you.